Hello team, my name is Mahesh. Uh, in this in, the, in this tutorial, um, as I commented on the community post itself, that uh, I'm uh, deploying one full fully CI/CD application on the uh, Jenkins and all, all over the uh, DevSec. We are creating a DevSecOps project. We are implementing security tools on an existing uh, CI/CD pipeline. So this is uh, this is the complete tutorial about the fully CI/CD pipeline with the Dev DevSecOps approach. So in this in this uh, in this particular application itself, uh, we have a two zero four eight game, which is kind of a look like this, and we are deploying this applica deploying this application from uh, from the uh, rep from the repository itself. We are deploying the application to the container, and the we are push the image to the Docker registry. We are uh, doing a completely end to end. Uh, uh, doing uh, we are uh, creating an end to end CI/CD pipeline with that. So in this particular pipeline itself, we have we are implementing multiple tools uh, for the for the particular security tools or for build and re build and release tools or uh, for the uh, store the Docker images and Docker uh, to store the Docker images and all the things. So let's uh, let me give a quick overview about it. So and the uh, declare it to tools install and the git checkout stage. Uh, we are pull, pull, we are pull the repository from the Git, uh, uh, GitHub itself, and we kept in the workspace di workspace directory. I'll show you too how you can look uh, how you can see the workspace directory that are created by the Jenkins itself. And the Sonar Cube itself, uh, Sonar Cube is used for the uh, static code analysis or uh, any code vulnerabilities or any uh, uh, for any bugs bugs in the uh, any bugs in the code or uh, there are some code code smell in the uh, code smell in the repo uh, repository and the files itself so those scanning are done by the uh, sonar cube analysis quality cat is a part of the sonar cube sort of sonar cube analysis um, we are in installing the dependencies because uh, uh, the application dependencies which we uh, need to run the particular application uh, this particular application run on, run on the npm itself so we need a npm uh, we need a npm package we, need, we can do npm install and all those things to run, uh, install the particular dependencies that are need to uh, pack uh, that are need to package this application so uh, uh, the npm mostly uh, work, work with the uh, package.json file which the, where the all the dependencies and all the particular uh, dependencies that are needed by the uh, particular application that are mentioned on the package.json file with that file, uh, it will it can automatically install the dependencies. Uh, on the OWASP security scan, uh, we have we uh, do the scanning on the particular uh, the repo in the repository itself. But uh, we are scan we are scanning uh, we are scanning with the existing CV da database to the finding the known vulnerabilities or all those things. We are look in, look uh, later part of this video, but we are doing this. In the trivia stage, uh, we are we can do uh, in this video we do the image scanning and the we do uh, file system scanning. So those those are those are mostly things that are need uh, that are done by uh, done in this video. And finally, we deploy the container. Uh, we push our image to the Docker Hub and deploy container to the local server. So let me first. You need uh, some dependencies to need to install in the plugin section. First, we need a OWASP dependency check. This is the first plugin. Uh, after that, the Docker we need to install. So Docker plugins, Docker Common, Docker Pipeline, API, Web Tools. After that, we need to install Java plugin, which is uh, the Java plugin called Eclipse. Download, there is Eclipse. Yeah, Eclipse. This this version particularly we need to install. So let me select that one also. Uh, we need a Node.js to specifically this application works on Node.js. So we need a Node.js for it, and uh, we need we have done the Docker. Uh, okay, so those many tools. We need a Sonar Cube. There is a Sonar Scoop scanner. So those those plugins we need to install for it now so click on install it will automatically install the things and we need to wait it for some time after that uh, all the things once the uh, all the things are get succeed we can is pulling uh, it, it is try to pull the particular repository now 
host port first first one is a host port and second one is a container port and our image itself copy the image from here and just paste it this thing is done uh, our docker will success